This time, your designs will face the original Slabman design. Well, hello and welcome back to this Slabman challenge. We are back with pitching some of the combatants versus the original Slabman design uh, to find out which one is the best. So, of course, uh, you all know the deal. Check out the previous videos. If you don't, we will be uh, jumping off directly with Snivelord's Slabman boat, which apparently is using some... It fired some underwater pack here, as you can see. We need to check what type of damage it did, which I have no idea about. So we have some shots there. And ooh, look there, yeah. Not very strong though, but did indeed inhibit the roll capabilities of uh, my heavy cruiser. So that will be quite interesting. Uh, let's see here, it seems that I set up my uh, weapons to basically fire above deck like this, not below. Kinda didn't really remember, we can see it's Sebo Frag. Seems like a weird combo, but in some tests I found it to be pretty useful. The... Uh, yeah, okay, so the lambs seems to be able to take out the, the cram mortars, but not much more than that. Uh, now Snivel Lord has invested in some pretty decent cram mortars there. So it will be interesting to see what happens when they come down here. Ooh, oh man, that's... Could you see those frags? Wow! Crazy stuff. It seems that the original Slabman is trying to show its back to the enemy a little bit. Its lambs, however, seem to be able to hold up pretty well. The incoming missiles are dealing some damage there and it seems that we can indeed uh, not damage each other with uh, the uh, mortars there because our mortars respectively are taken out by the uh, lambs. Very interesting, uh, the helicopter is still online, however, ooh, <laughs> the lambs are getting busy shooting down those missiles that comes in. How is the helicopter doing up here? Well, it's pitching in. Guns are not firing for some reason. It's really hovering above the uh, enemy. I think I really should have uh, upgraded this. Now they go through though. It's not looking too good for Snivelord Slabman boat rebuild here. And it seems that... Oh, are we firing blanks? Looks like we're firing blanks. Oh no, one shell came through. And the underwater pack is doing some damage, but that's like basically nothing important down here. It's mostly fluff. You shouldn't be turning this much, should you? Don't tell me we locked in this turret now. Hopefully not, because that would have been a miss. Ooh, bam, big hit. Oh, wow, fatal damage on the main APS gun there. Bam. Wow, okay, that was pretty dangerous. The main, the main sniper cannon is down. We are having missiles, auxiliary stuff like uh, the crams won't get through. Oh, yes, they are. What's happening with the uh, Snivelord Slabman boat? It seems that its lambs are more or less disabled. Not looking good for Snivelord here. Now the crams are getting in and damn, they're doing a decent job to deal some damage there. The main gun is disabled, but it seems that the... Um, AOG 67mm dome turrets, three of them, are making pretty short work of everything that's sticking up over the surface. 
We have the Scorpions firing there, some diff guns, and the Cram Mortars seem to be going through as well. Even the small helicopters uh, terrorizing small uh, little nice <laughs> missiles are dealing damage too. For some reason, Snivis cram guns seem to be firing blanks for some reason. Seems like they have nothing to pack here. Must be some disconnection in the uh, pellets there to the turrets. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like this battle is going actually to the original Slabman's favor. Uh, would not have expected that, but um, before I um, ended the uh, submissions, I did also. Oh, oh, that's some dropped missile. Yeah, I did also do some upgrades to the original slab, and, and I do think that my uh, upgrades to the original, um, the original if, is of course the thing on the workshop. And I added some small upgrades like fixing some lamb systems, making it stronger, um, stuff like that. It seems that it really paid off. Will be interesting to see. Oh, yeah, that's a dangerous cram shell, that's for sure. We really have a handicap roll capabilities here. Our engines are... Are they kind of ish dead or something? We're moving slow, that's for sure. But the original Slabman is perfectly combat capable, which Snivelord's fix uh, doesn't seem to be much. It's doing a decent job, but it's really sad so few of the cram cannons are really even working now. I do suspect Snivelord could still get a lucky strike and win this battle, but yeah, those cramps are pretty sad. And here we go. 81 percentages. It's not gonna sink soon, but man. Now we got two shots away here. If they're aimed well, they might, no, they could have limited this ship's, uh, like, visibility of the enemy, that's for sure. Oh yeah, there we got another turret going. So actually the, <clears throat> the score is closing in on each other there. Original Slabman is only at 89% now. Um, so it's still 9% lead, but somehow Snivelord Slabman boat seems to be a little bit more resilient than we first anticipated. Look like this battle was pretty decided pretty early. So it's definitely a strong ship, but it seems it is not stronger than the original Slabman, of course, it seems not. It may still, of course, win, but it really looks like it's um, it's not an upgrade. At least not this initial battle. But um, since we want the, <laughs> the, the submissions, we want to find a submission that's definitely stronger than the original Slabman. So it should be a very low chance of uh, another ship to lose against the original Slabman if it is to be considered um, much superior to it. And of course uh, this was quite a challenge for many because it was indeed not a hole of their choosing. They had to fill in their holes which might have led them to, uh, well force them to use a completely different building style than would they, they would have used otherwise. Which is I guess the part of the challenge here. Yeah, the tiny turrets, they're, they're, they're really targeting the right thing here. 
you can see them all are just uh, constant fast firing against that last turret. No, no, it's not the last turret. That one is kind of... It's kind of cut off, cut off from the pellets too. So it's only firing blanks. You can see here, there are no pellets connecting, but the firing pieces are still alive. And that's what causes these, uh, these blank fires. It's like gunpowder with no pellets. This one is alive though, even though half the turret is gone. Original Slabman is at 88 and Snivelord Slabman about down to 75. And uh, its combat capabilities are really sad now. <laughs> Looks like the original Slabman is, is pretty dead in the water though. Man, it might actually sink. I think that the underwater pack bombardment may have... May, no, there are still some engine powers left here. But I'm wondering if not the, uh, the lambs have priority for the power. I'm not sure if I remember to set up the power prior. Pretty fun that my little irritating helicopter is still alive though. <laughs> you can see they're just diving down there. Oh, ho, ho. the mortars. Well, GG, Snivel Lord. It seems, however, this is not an upgrade, really. Um, so we will have to. Uh, well, if it doesn't change, I will, of course, update you if it changes. But I'm thinking this this part of the battle doesn't seem very interesting at all. Uh, it seems pretty decided now. It seems like it's almost only firing blanks. So I'll be back with you in a bit. Man, it's been over 10 minutes now. This is a slow one. And ooh, the original Slabman gets kind of circled. Um, it's really slowly and slowly tearing away at this thing. Somehow this half of this turret is still pretty alive and well. And well, I guess that's about it. <laughs> These cram shells seem to be getting through somewhat when they can hit. Other than that, this one has reverted to some very extremely slow speed thanks to the damage to the engines inside of here. We can see some uh, steam gases leaking away. Can't believe that... No, that one is ammo racked. Okay, two, two of the uh, 67 millimeter domes are still online. Yeah, well it seems to be a do do doing a decent job. Um, somehow we are zapping the crams now, so that's I guess a bonus. I think we have started to see some stuttering coming from, uh, like, water pumps calculating stuff. By the way, update! Uh, for all future big ship battles, water pumps will just be outright banned, because, you know, it just lags too much. Oh man, look what I found! That's so close! Man, this piercing pack almost snaped! Sniped, not sniped, sniped AI, look at that. It's like one little bit of heavy armor in front of it. If it hit, if it would hit the same spot again, it could actually win. It's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy, okay. <laughs> I must say I'm, I'm a little bit scared each time the pack goes off because I'm thinking like, oh man, will it actually hit something? <laughs> 13 minutes. I don't remember what time limit I set, but let's say at like maximum 15 minutes. Uh, I don't think we're gonna sit more than 15 minutes for each battle. That's a little too much. Oh man. Was those... Hmm. Was it a pack? I don't know the charge 
discharge uh, like rate of those packs either man not a lot of our stuff is under uh, is like over water if we were a few percentage lower in health i think i don't know if this had uh, would have been considering uh, sinking oh man what is that's a lot of blocks okay the pack hit there nothing important luckily for us okay wow so we're really we're really starting to get some oh look there is the pack the pack went through here somewhere it's like we're almost sinking here wow this is a slow one it really looks like mortars are like not very large mortars is like the last thing to go that's that's what's doing the heavy lifting in terms of damage 68 percentages i'm pretty impressed with this floating capability and it's just it's like it's not stopping to move and it's not sinking there's some pretty good propellers or engine system there Ooh, look at that that looks like a fun little little engine <laughs> Lucky for it, this engine has not been hit by anything. But uh, since our big cannon was taken out, taken out early in game, early in this little battle, uh, <laughs> its deep penetrating power is of course not to be seen in like. Yeah, this naval lord slab really got a good hit in the start there, so. Um, the penetrating APHE or AP frag or whatever I used for that cannon, uh, that type of damage is not here. It's just some surface level mini crams, uh, small cram mortar barrage, the missiles, constant bombardments of tiny missiles, and uh, of course the domes uh, sandblasting. Now they are underwater, so it seems that they are not getting the best angle to shoot either, so yeah. Well, finally, domes are online, but they have to shoot underwater, which is really bad. They don't have super cabs. <laughs> Look at that, that's so sad. <laughs> All that ammo is absolutely wasted. Oh, well, then. Welcome to the episode of slowly grinding your enemy to death with tiny mortars and mini missiles all the time until it turns into Swiss cheese. 65% 17 minutes, you know, I think this battle is pretty like over. Um, it's been over time, it's... Uh, the outlook doesn't seem to change much, this kind of ish submerged shooting some mortars all the time sometimes the other weapons work sometimes not but mortars constant bombardment like that sixty five percent yeah so i gave it a few more minutes just to see if anything would change or something like that but the outlook is still the same uh, Snivelord's Slaban is slowly grinded to uh, tiny pieces and this Slaban is semi-submerged and is mostly using its uh, mortars to deal damage but is able to take out uh, many of the cram shots incoming anyways. So uh, that's basically that. Um, I'd say that Snivelord's Slaban boat is an extremely resilient and well-built ship. Uh, however, from the results of this battle, we can by no account say it is better than the original, which is of course needed. And now we stopped at 20 minutes, of course. So there we have it. Um, it's of course in pretty bad shape, um, trying to regain the correct role here, but yeah. <laughs> It's over 80%, so it's not going to be 8% and sinking very soon either. 
Yeah, so GG, let's move on to the next battle. Snivelord Slabman was not uh, seem to be better than the original. Next up, we have the ship which I believe is the thumbnail for this video if I didn't mix them up. Netrameras NNV Dummy, Target Dummy. <laughs> we'll see what type of Target Dummy that is. Wow, these blue missiles look super cool. Poor helicopter. The helicopter is absolutely killed. Man, it didn't even have chance to fire its first volley. Wow, that's some vicious, vicious, vicious lasers. It looks like, uh, like uh, purple, violet, what is it called? Black lights, it looks like black lights. Wow, it's DQ'd. Okay, the Slabman Heavy Cruiser is down to 98%. Netramera is at 99.4. Boom! This is a Shongus thing. Bam! That's some frag damage. Went through the armor clean to the other side. Wow. That's some dangerous stuff. These lasers are really digging in there. Not sure I did a good job at even adding much smoke defense to this thing. So I think these lasers are making short work of this set. Uh, <laughs> the original slab man. And we have some underwater packs there too. I would believe they're doing some crazy damage to us. Um, having some decoys going on there and that lamb system is really cleaning up bum, 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 bum. wow yeah that's that's some expensive lazing right there i really think that netramera has a great advantage here and this is a little sieves turret there Ooh, and another one of these big ones is that a huge missile? I think it might be a huge one. Sometimes hard to see the difference between the huge and the large, but this is... Uh, it looks enormous. Oh no, and look at that. And the original Slabman does not have any sieves uh, or anything against underwater. Bam! That's the lambs. They're basically cut off and gone. Very, very, very damaged there. That's, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, that's huge. That are huge torpedoes, but man, that was a lot of laser stuff. Boom, what's happening? What's going on here? Man, I think that the... The Slabman's original, like, like the, the sniper, the armor-piercing frag or whatever I put in here. It's doing full full force damage here, man. I think it's doing some pretty serious internal damage. Just gonna take a little sneak peek in here. Wow, yeah, this this is a big box of unprotected laser. And ooh man. Yeah, it has potential to deal some enormous damage inside of there. The lamb seem to be online still, but it's not It's not very cocky at all anymore. Look at that, more laser parts is dropping down. The deep penetration capabilities of the original cannon is not to be messed with. Even though uh, the original Slabman is going to be... Uh, it's, it's, it's doing submarine moves. This The, the old gun is still online there. Wow, yeah, better for Netramera that these huge torpedoes are still working because they can still do big damage. They can still, I think they can single-handedly win these battles. I really think so. Yeah, there is there is another one dropped. I don't know. It seems that the, that the left one is, I don't know what's going on with that. Has it ever launched? 
Because I'm wondering if it, anything is weird with the setup here. Wow, Netramera is down to the same percentage as uh, the original, it seems. But that changed now with, uh, with that hit, of course. But what's going on with that other torpedo? Is it not set up correctly? I think there might be a super long delay or something is messed up here. The big guns, they're, re they're really keeping us at, at the same levels here. Now the packs went off. Netramera is actually below the original Slabman's health here. It was not able to defend against that uh, deeply penetrating gun. What happened here? Okay. It seems that the left torpedo isn't isn't working. It's not it's not checked to be working. Unfortunately, I really think that if Net if Netramera had had fixed that issue, I think it would have a good chance of actually winning this battle. That was a good hit. Really took out most of the most of the crimes here. Yeah, the original Slabman mo lost lost uh, most of its power again. It's pretty sad the underwater pack has dealt some big damage. But alas, it seems to be at a better place than Netramera's target dummy. Uh, because it's pretty defenseless against this deeply penetrating APS cannon that the original Slabman has indeed. Now another big one is coming here. Oh, damn it. This is like... When you send in ships for tournaments like this, do a proper battle test, make sure that all weapons are working. Because, like, this is just sad. It's it's sad. It's sad to see. It's sad to see. Now let's see here. That's... Oh, bam! That's a big shot there. You can see that the Slaban lost one of its... Uh, I think that's the Fang turrets or something like that. Don't remember the names. Well, with the main gun online, I feel that the original Slabman is having a much better chance of actually taking this home. Um, it's leading percentage-wise, which was very, very, very uh, surprising. I really thought that Netramena's target dummy would do short work of the original Slabman, but that was not the case. Uh, somewhat, uh, one problem is the laser system was poorly protected. So the deeply penetrating cannon just went through. Should have had some era or some, or we actually had some nice weapon, uh, some some nice defenses here with with uh, beam slopes, heavy armor beam slopes. But it did. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Yeah, uh, we had that at least. Uh, ooh, is that the AI? Man, oh my god, yeah, the Slabman, the orig my, my original design was just so close of, <laughs> of AI killing this thing. Wow, that's just pure luck it didn't hit there. Alright, man. So I must say that I'm pretty happy with, uh, with this gun here. It's obviously, it's obviously pretty decent. Really dealing some deep damage there. Ooh, it's really have power problems there, but yeah. And the other problem, of course, was that Netramera did not check that the other torpedo was working correctly. But wow, I think actually Netramera has a small chance of actually winning this. Because if you get Slabman 1% more, 1% lower... You can be... Oh yes, I think you can be winning this by sinking. Sinking the original Slabman under 80%. And oh no, look at that. It looks like the other ship was sunken before. Netramera's target dummy has... Is, is sinking. It's sinking. Yeah. It's losing by sinking. Man, that was a close battle. GG, very good one. Very good battle. Very impressive. Uh, maybe... I don't know if we AI killed it before, no idea, but man. Netramera, that was that was a close one. 
I think you could have won this battle if you just had set up that torpedo, checked that it was working correctly. Um, look there, look there. Ha! The, the, my slam is gay. Look, it's gaining points like that. Wow, that was a close battle. That was very close, very close indeed. Well, that's that's uh, the unfortunate nature of things. Sometimes a little mistake, a little setting that you missed might make uh, all the difference. And since you can tune ships to infinity, um, if the battles have started, they have started. So we can't really uh, change, you know, uh, upgrade, update stuff like that. We might do a future battle when you can send in updated versions of your ship after each battle, but not this one, not this one. So GG, a very good battle, very cool build, Netramera, but uh, nope, it didn't work. Moving on. Next up, and I believe the last battle for this particular little session is Snackobes. Snackobes, Slabman Heavy Cruiser with Interceptor um, Mark IV. So it will be very interesting to see how it uh, how it would deal with this situation. I am not sure. Uh, oh, look! It has the it has oh it has it has the kind of patchwork fleet colors. I do sub I, I do sub suspect that uh, uh, Snackob doesn't use fleet colors very often at all. Yeah, okay, very interesting to see. Wonder if it's gonna be damage dealing. Yeah, that's damage dealing torpedoes in the back there. Very interesting. We have a something something. Oh yeah, that, that's the funny joke ship. This is a B hole on the ship. If you're looking for the A hole, it's reading this sign. Very funny, very funny. Let's see what's th where this battle goes then. Right, so we're having some shots incoming here. Or this uh, shield disruptors or EMP. What was that? Well, the lamb seems to be dealing with some of them. Civs uh, missiles or anti-missile missiles are going hot. Yeah, it really seems that the... Uh... Ooh, yeah, okay. We're getting some penetrative power there. Yeah, okay. I wonder how much our main gun is penetrating this too. We have an extremely close uh, ratio there. I wonder where... Okay, so there is the interceptor. It has locked on to... Yeah, it has been locking on to the helicopter and it's doing a little attack launch like this interesting uh, the helicopter is focusing on no who knows it looks like a pretty pretty nice little uh, little interceptor there with locking on laser missiles very maneuverable and okay, yeah, we're trying to shoot it. We are really doing that, but I think the helicopter's guns is just plain weak. And these missiles, they are just, oh, they're targeting the wrong thing too. Yeah, we're gonna have a real lucky shot if we're gonna deal with this thing. I'm finding this battle kind of interesting. It also seems that the helicopter has a big problem getting hit too, because um, the interceptor is shooting its missiles when it's just a tiny little bit too close, it seems. Oh, man, we shot off something. What Did we shoot off something important? I think we did not. We're diving down below there. Bam! Helicopter is getting hit with some crazy missiles there, yeah. Kind of surprised it's still alive though. And it's wanting to lock on to the original slab man there, that's for sure. But it turns around. I think it's uh, set up to deal with the smaller targets first. Which is probably a good idea. My helicopter isn't very uh, dangerous in any way. Will it? 
it's just missing all the time. Let's return to the main battle. Their snack of Slabman is at 96%. The uh, original Slabman is at 94%. So Snackop is in the lead here. This is of course my original Slabman. We can see the good old main gun is still online. Uh, maybe I jinxed it because some shots are incoming. Uh, the domes are sandblasting and sandblasting. This seems like a pretty formidable turret as well. Rail assisted as it can be. And here we have some uh, dual barrel, a little heavier shots there. Boom, boom. The lambs seem to be dealing well enough with the incoming uh, rain of mortars. I think Snackob did uh, get away, uh, get rid of the old mortars. Um, change this, uh, these missiles and coming here too. But it seems that our interceptor is actually taking out that uh, those missiles there. The original Slabman has a pretty high budget for missile interceptors. Probably a little bit too high. Bam. But it might pay off because uh, Snack Up Slabman is getting pretty badly beat up by these missiles incoming there too. Well, it's definitely one of those slugfests. Let's see what's happening with... Uh, with these ones the helicopter is trying to put up shots against the interceptor and the interceptor is skillfully maneuvering around man we only have one propeller blade left poor thing and the aps cannons are pretty sad by now If, it, if it's not able to hit with its missiles, it's gonna be pretty sad. Oh, but it was possible to hit with its missiles. It's an aircraft, it's, a, it's like a plane craft, so it's a little bit more susceptible to getting damaged, I think. This helicopter is pretty stable, but of course, it's one shot away from falling down from the sky, so I don't expect the helicopter to uh, win this. But I must say it's pretty impressive how long it has hold held this interceptor off while we're only for or not only not not even four minutes into the uh, battle oh no that wasn't a too bad hit okay we're only four minutes not even four minutes into the battle in in game time because of course with all the stuff is going on it's the slime that the, the, the slime the time is going a little bit slower whoa what's happening over here I think my original Slabman is doing the good old, good old sinking trick. Which uh, is looking... <laughs> Poor thing, man. What happened here? Look at that. Yeah, okay, I do believe we're gonna lose this pretty bad. Man, look at that damage. How, why? What's happening here? Are they four, the four propellers are working. That's why we're not sinking completely. The domes are valiantly fighting on. And my VLMs. My VLMs are pretty scary, actually. Look at that. A little crater. 86 versus 89. Yeah, well, the original Slabman still has some teeth, but uh, not much. Okay, where are the aircrafts? Oh, no! Look at that poor thing. It looks like the Interceptor Mark IV crashed into the water. It got some minor damages, and it seems that it doesn't know what to do, poor thing. It doesn't have any balloons to save it. And the custom jet engines just won't help it. Poor thing, poor thing. And it's getting terrorized by a pretty not so good helicopter. Which can't even deal damage much. Well, that's a poor, poor destiny, poor 
and for the interceptor. We should have some kind of balloon uh, water lift system to actually save it from stuff like that because just that's just a sad silly way to die. Don't believe the reach of these missiles is enough to reach but we'll see. Well then Snack Ob is at 88, original Slaban is at 85 and it's looking like it's sinking so the moment it's going under those 5% more I do believe that my original Slaban will suffer the fate of sinking. Death by sinking. But we shall see indeed because it has straightened up itself now somehow and uh, yeah I don't know how but it looks it looks like in a better position all things considered. The mortars must have hard time to find a decent angle. Ooh wow we're looking pretty slow here. Maybe this is the ship that will be sinking. Let's see here. Ooh, or So, is this cannon even firing anymore? It's oh, I think it it's it's failsafe is keeping it from firing, doesn't it? Poor thing. Yeah, okay, damn. It's uh I think it's failsafe handicapped. This seems to be the only cannon that's still dealing damage. And to be frank, that ain't much. Oh no, look! My original Slabman is officially sinking. Isn't it? I think it's, uh, it's not officially sinking, but its altitude is just too low. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, I have a DQ, we went through the rules earlier, but there is a DQ if you're too much underwater for too long time, so man. Oh, and it looked like... What? The snack of slab man is also ticking up. But that that ain't... I think that's only because the uh, the other object is too far away. I don't think that's quite fair. Since the helicopter can absolutely not match this spell there. I think that we'll have to pause this spell here because this one is dead. This helicopter has nothing left to give really and uh, since the ships are DQ'd we... Uh, oh well look now it got hit by something so that means that actually officially even if we don't look look to the proper things um, <laughs> the interceptor could win this by the rules as well just because of a percentage advantage sitting there cool interesting battle pretty interesting to see i didn't expect all four like all three of all fighting units units getting dq'd and the dead thing sitting in the water and just be uh, be a uh, health point bonus thing very interesting indeed very very interesting well pretty cool battles i uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll be, we'll be back with some more battles uh, next week to see which of the sent in slabman upgrades will beat the original or not so if you liked this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like and do subscribe if you want to see more this is your host jim Odism, and i want to give a huge thanks to our commissioned officers in the army of jim Odism, commander ayak the boater uh, Commander Ejin, Lieutenant Asteria, Lieutenant Powered by Greed, Lieutenant Tyler Russ, Lieutenant LCG Canyon, Cadet Robert and Cadet Shark. And of course our elevated uh, Gymodistas Halofo and Yudista Arcana and Stellar uh, Gymodista LCG Canyon Sahar. Oh, and also a big thanks to our new patron, Lieutenant Vincent Veritas. So thanks a lot for joining and I'll see you all in future videos. This is your host, Jim Modism. We're signing out.